Hello there, it's been a long week so I'm using a different setup and without further ado, if you're interested in Linux on an Android without running, there's a couple of things that can help make the experience a whole lot better before you get started, especially if you're going to be using Linux on a phone. When working with a phone or a tablet, it can be helpful to have a stand to prop up your device. Some examples are regular stands or phone cases with a kickstand. Next, if you're working with a phone or a smaller tablet, a pair of reading glasses can be really helpful for reading smaller text and is the most practical option. You can also use a screen magnifier, but again, I recommend reading glasses over a screen magnifier. Also, depending on the device, screencasting may be an option as well. Do note that I will be going over how to increase font sizes. One of the most important pieces of hardware that you will need is a keyboard. More specifically, a Windows keyboard because those work the best with Linux. You can identify a Windows keyboard by the Windows key near the bottom left of the keyboard. The first option is plug in a keyboard, and depending on the port your device has, you will likely either need a USB to USB-C adapter like this one, or a USB to micro USB adapter. These adapters cost anywhere from about $3 to $10. Alternatively, you can use a Bluetooth keyboard. The advantages to this are being able to charge your device while it's being used and being able to plug in something else such as external storage. In any case, there's plenty of great options. Next we have USB hubs. These simply give you more ports to work with, which is great for plugging in multiple things at once when you have a limited number of ports and are working with both external storage and plug-in keyboards. Make sure if you are using a powered USB hub that your device can handle it. Lastly, we have external storage, which can be in the form of USB sticks or SD cards. For SD cards, you'll want to have an adapter. My personal favorite is this micro SD card to USB-C adapter that has a flashing light on it, which is very helpful. Make sure to look at the specifications of the adapter that you are looking at, because not all adapters have a flashing light. Another option is a micro SD card to USB adapter. In a future video, I will be going over how to access external storage from Linux on Android. If you enjoyed this video, you may be interested in the companion book to this video, Linux on Android Phones and Tablets. In the next video for Linux on Android, I'll go over installing. See you soon!